Phil Henderson is not your typical barbecue restaurant owner. This is the pit. It's brick. He worked for years as a fishery biologist and he has a master's degree. But in 1976, he became the owner of Bob's Pig Shop. He bought the place from Bob and Helen Hammond. They opened in 1933. The restaurant business is a lot of fun. I mean, especially in this, this format where most of my business is local and a lot of it is great friends. You make all these friends and uh, your cooking evolves. It evolves, yet preparing mouth-watering barbecue has to be consistent. And the signature item that's been served here since 1933 is the pig sandwich. And Bob Hammond spent a month teaching Phil that recipe and how to cook properly. He also told Phil never write down that recipe. So he passed it to me. And I, it's a sacred trust. This is the last place that I know of that you can actually buy an original pig sandwich that, were, that was kind of a nationwide phenomenon for a long, long time. And while Phil had two college degrees, he said he watched and learned everything he could. I mean, who knew mustard was a meat seasoning and not a bread seasoning? Bob took the burger off, he'd take the, the bun, set it, on the, set it on the patty, lift the patty up and turn it over, and that's the exact moment that the mustard had to be put on there. Otherwise, it wasn't a pig shop burger. You ask about what I'd learned, there are little things like that that mean everything. Now over the years, Phil and his wife have added a few things like their Susan salad, marinated smoked chicken with cheese and the fixings served in a fried taco bowl topped with tasty guacamole. We sell tons of those things. The most famous thing that I think we do now, besides the pig sandwich, is our hamburgers and cheeseburgers. And of course, Bob taught Phil the technique of cooking those burgers. When it's time to make the hamburger, we take one of those hamburger balls out of the cooler, set it down on a, on a block, put the spatula on it, and smash it with a bottle. And uh, he always used a bottle of Louisiana hot sauce, which was far too sharp pointed for me. I have tender hands, I guess. And so uh, I've changed that a little bit, what, what I mash it with. Cooking with a live flame is primal and sometimes unpredictable, but every master has his or her own secrets for taming the fire. And over the years, the expansion of the restaurant has been built around this 1933 pit. We don't have any temperature control except our eyes and what wood we use because it doesn't have anything to do with uh, thermostats or gas or anything else. We just know what the pit does and how to adjust it with logs or, or even sometimes we may even have to kick a log off the fire. This is not your typical barbecue place. They even smoke prime rib. But the true success is seen in the customers who keep coming back again and again. Coming here is the atmosphere and the ribs are probably the best in the state of Oklahoma. Bob Ledford has been coming here for over 30 years. You know, the prime rib on Friday night's really good. You know, we the burgers, the pig sandwich, you know. We, we, we haven't had anything that was bad. You know, we like it all. If you have a beef sandwich of ours and a beef sandwich of theirs, you're going, my God, is that the same thing? <laughs> and it isn't. And Phil says that's just fine.